It is an exciting day here uh, on the Collaboration Station playlist because uh, I am very pleased to announce that it is now completely done. Uh, here we are zooming in from the MUN and as you can see it is looking absolutely phenomenal. Um, this is actually the first time I've actually looked at it in its final form. Well apart from just to double check it was all working okay. But yeah we've got a pretty interesting looking setup here. We've got obviously our a uh, fuel tank from uh, thank you to Marcus House for that contribution. We also have a uh, death laser from Tape Gaming and a Spitfire from Beardy Penguin. What else have we got? We've got a ore tank delivery from Brad there that I was actually featured in his little dual com for. If you guys haven't seen that somehow. Then over here we have, I probably have to rotate the screen just here, but we have a DJ booth from Scott Manley. For those of you who don't know, Scott also uh, is a DJ, so it was rather fitting that he made a DJ booth for his contribution. What else do we have? We have my appalling module here. <laughs> it was meant to be like the centre, but I I think I was, um, I wrongly predicted that most people would want normal sized docking ports when I think most people were docking to senior sized docking ports, but whatever, I don't really mind. Then we have Mark Thrim's SSTO delivered habitation ring. Again, looking very interesting. I think the main thing there was the fact it was delivered by SSTO. Um, because as you know, Mark Thrim is very well known for doing SSTO videos. Then we have uh, Grumpworks' communications array there um, with the solar panels. We have Bob Fitch's laboratories and his lights. And then we have Kerbal Space Command's auxiliary ring with this sort of cool looking modular craft. We can just get the camera panned around, pan down. Yep, we have lots of, oh goodness, we have lots of stuff going on inside these uh, cargo bays. And then underneath we have Shadow Zone's uh, pretty cool um, escape pod system. I've not seen it in the flesh before, but he sent me pictures how they are of these, these um, detachable uh, well, escape pods inside these arms, and we have these ore converters as well, so we can actually synthesize all the ore that Brad collected from Eve. So we overall have a pretty self-sustaining station, really, if we just uh, brought in a land or even this craft that Ruben has added. Um, we can just refuel a moon lander that can mine fuel and then bring it back to the station to uh, synthesize more fuel for itself. So I think overall we got a pretty nice look. Uh, and I believe all the Kerbals are either in booths or I think I think Bob said he left his on the MUN. But apart from that one, we have a nice little uh, lawn chair setup going on here. I love this. Uh, and then obviously Scott's sitting there in his DJ booth. And oh yeah, sorry, we forgot to mention that um, Simon and Simon added this little tug here as well. Uh, so we can rearrange modules as we see fit. Now I must say, overall, as a closing thought, I am pretty happy with how this has turned out. So, like I said guys, uh, there is a link to download this in the description and... Wait. Can you guys hear that? What's that noise? Wait a second. No. No. No, not you. No, Danny! No one invited you here, Danny! Leave us alone! We just wanted to make a space station! Who told you about this? No! You don't touch it! Don't touch it! Who gave you the save file? Don't do this! Don't do-